you brought up something I wanted to talk about was Monty Stumbaugh over in Hidalgo. <laughs> yeah. Do you think this is one of those things? I mean, last year he had a good season, but this year, you know, it's he's finally getting – well, it's not really a full season, but he's finally getting that to that point right now where – do you feel he's really happy? Like he gets to rub it in to the people and like PI that kind of, <laughs> you know, that, that chased him out. Like money got screwed in, in, in PI and yeah. there, you know, we're not going to lie about that, but do you think that he's happy that he's finally being able to show everybody, see, it wasn't necessarily the town, you know, it was, you know, also the coach, you know, cause a lot of people are like, Oh, anybody could win at PI. Well, I think I think people have shown the last couple of years that that's not necessarily the case, right? Um, uh, and I, I think PI, you know, PI is a unique situation, right? And I, I think um, the football fans there can be on the fickle side of things. They're a lot like Ed Couch Elsa fans, right? Um, where they, they they know they know what a good team looks like on a given year. They know who the players are going into camp. Um, so they're very, very passionate fans and know what their team's supposed to look like. But sometimes on a given year, they'll have unrealistic expectations, especially based on the district that they play in. And there have been years, these last four to five, and you can go back even to the tail end of the Stumball years, where they were in districts where, where A, they were down talent-wise, and B, that they could not compete in. Um, it, where they were, it was just a challenge to make the postseason. And I think now uh, what you're seeing, and, 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 and I don't know how good of a job Tony V is going to have done this year because they, they're playing two games. So I'm going to take mm-hmm. everything out of the equation with PI. They've got great fans, um, but they've been very fickle when it comes, when it comes to their coaching. And, and honestly, you know, uh, I, you know, I don't want to rub salt in the wound, but they've made to, they've made it, I think they've made a couple, couple of mistakes with their coaching hires the last couple of times. Um, I think they made the right move bringing Tony V back. Um, you know, a lot of people will say, well, maybe maybe you go with a younger coach so you can bring – they can stay there for a little while. But, you know, Tony V knows that place like the back of his hand and knows how to win there and knows how to win at this level and knows how to win at le- any level. So I praise him. But going back to Monty – look, Monty's a football coach, man, and, and he'll tell you all he cares about is being on the football field on Friday nights, coaching his team and trying to get them to win. He doesn't care if it's with an H on his – on his hat with a pi on his hat with a w on his hat with an m on his hat it doesn't matter he's just glad to be out there on friday nights but i think i think for the people around him and for the people like you and me uh and the other folks that really follow things down here in the valley it's a sense of validation that we know what we were talking about when we talk like monty's not washed up or monty's monty's not a guy who's just overseeing his coordinators like he actually can coach and build a program because let's look at the last few few years of hidalgo you know before monty got there you know there it was a struggle there too and uh i think he's proven that he can rebuild a program and um he's doing some awesome he's doing some awesome things that was a very impressive win on friday uh i thought it would be uh honestly a little bit closer i honestly thought laferry would win i didn't think that when when i saw that their defense had shut out two teams i was like okay well let, let, let's see how they do against laferia uh and when they really kind of put the wall up against them you know you, you got to start taking that team seriously especially for a deep playoff run which look monty monty's had teams go deep on when he was at pi uh you and i have been there um when they've gone deep you know, sitting on roofs of press boxes, calling games. So we, we know what they can do. So I'm kind of excited to see what they could do in the playoffs. 